Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Another moment in eternity that we can lift up the name of Lord Jesus Christ and bless our Holy Father. Hallelujah. Do it with me. Rejoice. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a blessed season we're in. Amen. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, I just want to say thank you so much for your heart of worship. Thank you so much for making the choice to bless God Almighty. And the only way we know how is, say it with me, church, agape, amen, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, hallelujah. And before we get into the word for this evening, you see the graphic behind me titled, True Worshippers, amen, hallelujah, true worshipers. Now, I understand that that's a bold statement to make, and praise God, we are bold in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Listen, as long as it's God's business, Holy Spirit will bless you with the boldness, hallelujah, and the courage, amen, the anointing, say that with me, anointing, the anointing in you, in me, as a beloved child of God, hallelujah, and oh my goodness, what a glorious day it is, amen, listen, yesterday is dead and gone, hallelujah, yesterday is dead and gone, amen, right now is the only time that matters, right now, our God knows, right now is the moment that matters, and will we bless God? Will we bless God in, in, in just co complete agape and thanksgiving? Hallelujah of his mercy. And we're just so grateful as far as that mercy came. That mercy came as flesh. Amen. The perfect body of God. Hallelujah. Our perfect Lord, our perfect Savior. Glory to God. What's his name? Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And let's get started. When I get started, I'm going to try my best, hallelujah, because I've been praying. I know you've been praying for me. Pastor and I, we are one, hallelujah. Pray for us, because in this new season of transition, glory to God, listen, we are Holy Spirit's church, amen? I am, say it with me, I am Holy Spirit temple. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's an eternal affirmation that you just made. Confession of unto salvation through the only one, Lord Jesus Christ. When you say, I am the temple of Holy Spirit. That means, hallelujah, God knows that you have received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. That you completely submitted yourself and you said, Father God, I am your child. And I will be obedient. Amen. And what, how beautiful is it that the word for this evening is true worshipers. Hallelujah true worshipers now we're not going to we're not going to jump ahead hallelujah but holy spirit said to say this real quick god says there's true worshipers which means when there's truth there's also yeah you many of you beat me to it false right amen where there's sheep there's also wolves amen right where there's agape there's also evil pride right the devil, religion, demons, right? So, so we have to understand that as we go through this worship service, I pray, I pray, and we're going to pray here in a minute. I pray in Jesus' name that you allow his anointing to teach you. Because remember, every, every soul here on this world, every soul, if they have Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, Holy Spirit will use them as a mouthpiece. Amen? But we do not worship any soul here on this world. Can I get an amen, beloved church family? We do not worship. We don't put anybody on the pedestal. And glory to God, I know who I'm talking to, Open Arms Community Church. We give all the glory, all the worship unto one man, the perfect man, the Lamb of God. His name is, hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He has all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. So that our Father is glorified and that in our worship, in transparency, Holy Spirit will bless us as his beloved children. Not approaching God's throne with this, amen, but approaching God's throne in complete submission and worship and saying, Father, here I am. Amen. Can you say that with me, beloved church family? Here I am. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for eternity for Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you, Father God, that you love us, that Father God, you are God Almighty, agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And Father God, it's in your presence that we, 
we only want to be, Father. And as I lift up your name, Lord Jesus Christ, I plead your holy blood, Lord. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you have given us the authority. You have given us the power through your Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit, the only way we know how to bless you is to lift up the name of Lord Jesus Christ, to offer ourselves, Father God, to offer ourselves in complete submission, in complete crucifixion, Father God, denying this flesh, and Holy Spirit welcoming you, blessing you. Holy Spirit, speak to us. Hallelujah. Speak to us through your living word within. Holy Spirit, teach us, for you are our only teacher. Rebuke me, Father God. We are just your mouthpiece. We just worship you, Lord Jesus Christ. And Holy Spirit, we always get out of the way and allow your presence to flow. All we want to do is bless you, Father God. Thank you for charging all your angels over us. Thank you, Father God, for blessing us with your presence overflowing in every area of our lives, in every area of our church, in every area of our communities, in every area of our workplace, Father. We thank you. And it's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Praise God. If you're by yourself, give yourself a high five. Amen. Give somebody else a high five. Praise God. I pray that you're with your family. Hallelujah. Listen, I pray in this season that we have spent time with our beloved, but above all, above all. Some of you are like, man, Brother Joey, above all? Yes, above that. Above sitting with your family, you keep God first. Amen. I can't imagine the pain God is going through right now. Yes, I said it. I'm going to say it again. I can't imagine the pain that my father God is going through right now with children that has been through a season like this that still don't put him first. Whew. Can I get an amen? You see, when you put God first, hallelujah, Holy Spirit will put everything in order in your house. Amen? Which means that if you're dealing with rebellious children, if you're dealing with whatever is going on, I don't know what's going on in your life, but I promise you when you keep God first, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Now remember, this doesn't mean that I keep Joey first and I have God as a backup. See, Holy Spirit told me to switch gears and throw myself under the bus so that some of you are receptive of the agape word that's flowing right now. You see, I could say that I keep God first always in my life, but yet I have in the forefront of my mind as an idol in my life what Joey wants. That's demonic. That's idolatry. God hates that. Because all I'm trying to do is I'm trying to mock God. I'm spitting in the face of Lord Jesus Christ saying, oh yeah, it's all about you, but truly in my heart, it's all about Joey. Say with me, I rebuke that in Jesus' name. Amen? But the glory of God is this, that when you come to repentance and you come to this true worship, when you come to this true worship that I don't care about this life, Hallelujah. I don't care about myself. I don't care about anything. All I care about is you, Holy Spirit. Because I know what my Lord Jesus Christ did as the true worshiper through that cross for me. Amen. Say that with me, beloved church family. For me. Right? For me. You see, when it's personal like this and you understand, not based on, right, prideful thinking, stinking thinking, but when you understand through agape, through worship, that my Father God is so perfect and He loves me so much and He is God of the universe and that the only way He could show me is because I kept denying Him. I kept running away. See, many of you are like, Brother Joey, I don't get that. Because, beloved church family, I hear it. I hear it in the community. I hear it in conversations, in text. I don't understand that. When, when, listen, it's always been from the beginning of time, we never wanted a relationship with God. Why? Because of sin in this world. But by the grace of God, Lord Jesus Christ, come. Said here, I am the King of Kings. Hallelujah. That is our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. The great I am. Whoa. Hallelujah. The Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. The perfect Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ said, here I am. 
And don't you love it that the beautiful words Lord Jesus Christ spoke, Agape himself said, repent, change your mind. Isn't it beautiful, glory to God, that here we are, here we are in the year 2020, right? And we're still ministering, preaching, right? The same message, change your mind. Listen, I know what you've been through. I know what you've gone through. That's dead and gone. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, come. Amen. Holy Spirit, come through the Father, right? Why through the Father? Because Lord Jesus Christ said, Daddy, go ahead, send him. And Holy Spirit, come in us. And now, hallelujah, now we have the ability and the power to be true worshipers in Christ our Lord. Amen. Whoa, hallelujah. I pray that you prayed for me. Praise God. We're going to try to stick into the allocated time frame that Holy Spirit has us in this new season and this new season in transitioning into what God is doing. Hallelujah. Praise God. Listen, nobody knows. Amen. Nobody knows. We just worship and we allow Holy Spirit to do it. Amen. Praise God. Say it with me. Do it. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Do it. Do it. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit will. Amen. Every time. All we got to do is get out of the way. Right? Get out of the way. Be obedient. Listen. Do it. Amen? Say it with me. Do it. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's get into this. Praise God. We're going to do a quick review. Holy Spirit wanted this quick review and glory to God. And what took place Sunday and talking about His mercy. Amen? And I'm excited. Are you excited? I pray so in Jesus' name. Amen? Rejoice! Hallelujah! And never forget to give an angel a high five. Hallelujah? Praise God. Hallelujah? Angels, you can't leave them out, praise God. Listen, do you not want your angels? I want every angel God has assigned to help us, to minister to us, to fight. If you don't want it, oh, praise God. You're like, nope, that's mine. Lord Jesus Christ paid for mine, amen? Praise God. So Romans 12, 1 says, therefore, hallelujah, it's there for a reason. I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy. Now, real quick, we talked about the mercy of the Father God, the mercy of of the Lord Jesus Christ and the mercy of Holy Spirit. Amen. And you saw this graphic. I pray you saw this graphic. We put it up, I believe, on our website and also on Facebook. Amen. For the message that Holy Spirit delivered about His mercy this past Sunday. And glory to God, I just want to say thank you for all, all of you, for all your love, prayer, support. Hallelujah. Your financial support. Praise God. Praise God. Giving back to God in worship and everything. Hallelujah. I just want to say thank you so much. Praise God. God is blessing you abundantly. Amen. Hallelujah. That's one thing that I will tell you. That's one thing that we will never do. We will never steal worship from our Father. Amen. We will never steal worship. We will never steal glory. Everything belongs. Hallelujah. To Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So we uncovered this as far as the mercy of God the Father. Hallelujah. In, 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 his, in his love for us that he kept pursuing us in this agape, amen? But remember, we know from the, from, from the time of Genesis, amen, we know that through the whole time in the Old Covenant, right, in the Old Testament, that we kept on running away, right? We kept on running, disobedient, right? And by the grace of God, God's love manifested, amen? Hallelujah. And love has a name. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated this mercy. Amen. And God revealed to us quickly in Matthew 26. Hallelujah. I believe in verse 53, if I'm not mistaken. Praise God. In that verse, though, you hear Lord Jesus Christ, God himself saying, if I call upon my Father, oh, hallelujah, my Father will send 12 legions of angels. But because of this mercy of Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, say it with me, agape, amen. Because of this mercy of Lord Jesus Christ, he says, I have to be the sacrifice. My blood has to be spilled on that cross. For every soul who would receive me and will die in me, because on the third day, hallelujah, say that with me, third day, on the third day, I will rise again. And I will rise again with my beloved church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Say it with me. That's open arms. Community church. Amen. We are God's beloved children. Hallelujah. And now we have the mercy of God manifested in you and in me. Who is that? Who is that that's living on the inside? 
Who are we temples of? Hallelujah. You, many of you beat me to it. His name is Holy Spirit. Amen. And Holy Spirit lives on the inside. And how God demonstrates his mercy in a beloved child of God is, even when you're disobedient, even if you're sinning right now, as we're worshiping together, it doesn't matter what time you clicked on this. It doesn't matter. Whatever you're doing, that doesn't matter. What matters right now is this moment. Are you willing to say, Father, forgive me? I see your mercy. I feel your mercy in me. Forgive me. I don't want to hurt you. Take this away from me, Father. Hallelujah. Take this away from me. Because I know the cost. I know the cost that was paid. Amen. And so Holy Spirit wanted to do this overlay real quick. And then we're going to move, move forward. Praise God. This is why Holy Spirit teaches the way he does. Amen. Not just through the visual aids that he has given us. Amen. And, and, and through his anointing that flows through every one of us. Through his beloved children. Praise God. Hallelujah. You hear Brother David Simpson say it a lot. I'm rooted. Hallelujah. I am rooted in Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, how do you become rooted in Holy Spirit? It's through complete submission unto God Almighty. Hallelujah. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And when you're submitted to Lord Jesus Christ, you know that there's sacrifice. Right? There's sacrifice. And in this sacrifice, it means that I am going to stay planted. That's the only way you can become rooted now. Can I get an amen? Right? Praise God. I mean, I'm so thankful for this past season. This season's already done and gone. We're in a new season now. Hallelujah. And in this past season, by the grace and mercy of God, he taught Trish and I how to plant seeds. Praise God. And you see that when you plant the seed, you just see the seed go in the ground. Amen. And you know that, okay, it's buried, water it. And what do you do? Just wait. Praise God. Pray, right? Wait. Pray. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And it's in this anointing that Holy Spirit says, you now know seed time and harvest. Amen. Say that with me. Seed time and harvest. Praise God. And this is what God wants to show, that when we're conscious, right, when, when, when our thoughts are continuously thinking, our thoughts are continuously thinking of the love of the Father, the mercy of the Father, a good and perfect Father. Say that with me, Father, Abba. Hallelujah, say that with me, Abba. Abba, glory to God, our Daddy, our Heavenly Father, our God. When you constantly think about how much He loves us, immediately, Immediately, in Jesus' name, you think of Lord Jesus Christ. You think of everything Lord Jesus Christ is doing. You think of Holy Spirit and the power of His resurrection. You think of Holy Spirit and His anointing in the spiritual realm. You think about all the angels that are around us fighting for us. You think about the anointing in your life and His presence going before you. You think about all the times that God has saved you through many things that you're not even aware of. See, this is the anointing, the relationship that we have when we allow our soul to just meditate on who our Father God is. Amen? Now in this overlay, in the same overlay right there in the red, you'll see it on your screen, praise God, is the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Now the old dead self, right? The old dead self, that was just flesh. Now why is it just flesh? Because the old dead self, the disobedient, prideful self that didn't want anything to do with Lord Jesus Christ and everything to do with this world, it's just flesh. But when you crucified that flesh, hallelujah, when you called upon Lord Jesus Christ, what happened to that flesh? It died. Amen. Hallelujah. It died and it rose again and it rose again in the newness of life. And that is the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And this is why we have the picture of that glorious baptism of Lord Jesus Christ, the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because yes, it's Lord Jesus Christ above our baptistry. Hallelujah. He is the cornerstone. He is our foundation. Hallelujah. Of open arms community church. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. The only way you have Father, Son, Holy Spirit is through the Son. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And when you have this revelation that I am now crucified in Christ. And I am born again in the newness of life. 
Being born again in that newness of life gives you the glory of God Almighty. And that's where you see the green part of the Holy of Holies within our hearts, amen. Holy Spirit's anointing, His presence, hallelujah, moves on the inside of the Holy of Holies. And this is, hallelujah, the gospel, amen. It's the gospel of, it's the gospel of agape. Say it with me, agape, hallelujah. It's the gospel of God. It's the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ. It's the gospel of Holy Spirit, peace. Amen. And this is the gospel of peace in which we stand firm in. Amen. That nothing, nothing will, will knock you down. No matter what distractions come, when you stand in this gospel of peace, you know the mercy of God our Father. Amen. So this is where Holy Spirit wants to lead us in the remainder of this worship service. Hallelujah. Say with me, I am a true worshiper. Hallelujah. To offer your bodies, come on now, to offer your bodies. So we got to keep in mind when you're in view of God's mercy, when you're in view constantly, when your thoughts, when your thoughts, when your thinking is in, in view of God's mercy. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, agape, amen. When your view, you see, I love this word view because view is like this, focus, right? I think of a, snipe, a sniper, you know, when, 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 when you see the soldier sniping, right and they're just zoomed in right is your view on God's mercy like that right is your view on God's mercy and how much he loves you like that in line like that I mean I'm talking about to the very detail of his mercy or is your view of God's mercy like this huh I pray not in Jesus name amen and this is why we have this worship service hallelujah because remember if there's true worshipers that also means that there's fake can I get an amen right when there's sheep that means there's also wolves amen so let's get into this to offer your bodies now remember everybody wants to praise God right and now we know how to praise God is to be focused on his mercy because what manifests when you're focused and zoomed in on his mercy, in view of God's mercy, immediately what takes place is the anointing, say that with me, anointing, the presence of the Holy Spirit in you, oh my goodness, it's a fire. Oh, it's a mighty fire. And this fire, whoo, consumes you. And in this fire, it burns out anything that does not belong. And immediately in this presence of Holy Spirit, praise. Oh, I thank you, Father, for your mercy. Amen. Say this with me. To offer my body as a living sacrifice. Now listen, we're just going to continue on. To offer your body as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. Read this with me, beloved church family. This is. Say it again. This is. Say it like you mean it. Pretty please. This is my true and proper worship hallelujah give God praise amen this is my so what is this to offer my body as a living sacrifice so beloved church family God is saying right now this is your true and proper worship I need to ask you because Holy Spirit just said put it out there does this have anything to do with singing does this have anything to do with the instruments that you play? Does this have anything to do with preaching? Hmm? Does this have anything to do with all the ministries going on and all the good stuff that we can do? Praise God that we are doing. Hallelujah and open arms community church that, that we are doing. Hallelujah for the community. But does, does it have anything to do with that? Hmm? God says, the way you offer your body as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing, this is your true and proper worship. Ooh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the question is, what's going on in your body that is of the devil? What are you doing to your body? 
that is of the devil. What are you allowing? What are you allowing? You see, we get so caught up sometimes in praise and worship. I hear that all the time. Oh, I just love praise and worship. Oh, pastor, I just love praise and worship. And hallelujah, I do too. But we have to keep in mind, what is our true praise and worship? Come on, beloved church family, what is our true praise and worship? Because all day long, you can jump up and down, you can speak in tongues, you can play all the instruments on the band, you can sing every song. But if you're not offering your body holy and pleasing to God Almighty, The word of God says, then it's not true worship. Can I get an amen, beloved church? But when you offer yourself, see, this is the beauty. This is what separates sheep and goats. Hallelujah. This is what separates true worshipers and faith. Bottom line is that you say you know Lord Jesus Christ. You say that Lord Jesus Christ lives in you. Let me see Holy Spirit fruit. Amen? Because the Word of God says you can be fruit inspectors. Praise God. It's amazing to me that I hear so many people say, Oh my gosh, I love this song. I just get into praise and worship. And it's just so great. And then the very next moment I hear grumbling, complaining, speaking death doing things to right what kind of fruit does that show you right above all what kind of fruit does that show father god in the name of lord jesus christ i'm just blessing you with this anointing from holy spirit because god wants to bless you can i get an amen that's who he is he's a good and perfect father Unfortunately, the enemy has deceived so many. Religion has deceived so many. Pride. Pride. Stinking thinking. Right? There's so many different doctrines now floating around. And I'll tell you right now, what's trending is make me feel good. Itch my ears. Make me feel good. Pat me on the back. Right? Tell me that I'm okay. Tell me that I'm forgiven and that I can just keep doing. Tell me about the grace. Right? Tell me about the grace of God so I can just keep doing what I'm doing. And I know, oh yeah, God got me. He loves me. But I can keep on doing. I'm going to tell you right now. Is your offering to God, your body, holy and pleasing to Him? Hallelujah. God knows everything now. Amen. God knows everything. God knows everything that you're looking at. Right? God knows everything that you're speaking. God knows everything that you're doing. God knows the heart. The Word of God says the heart is deceitful, right? And God knows the heart, right? Right now at this moment, I'm asking you, beloved, I'm asking you, will you ask Lord Jesus Christ? Will you join me and ask Lord Jesus Christ to examine us, examine me? Let's ask him. Pray with me, Heavenly Father. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, the name above every name, I thank you, Lord, and I ask you to examine me. And Father, there are things the Holy Spirit, you don't want, and I want to offer my body as a living sacrifice to you, Father God. And it's in Jesus Christ's name that I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, give God praise. Amen. Praise God. I believe that Holy Spirit is doing a mighty work. Amen. Because remember, when you bless His presence, He will flow and He will start changing your thoughts. As you stay more focused, right? When you're more in line, when you're focused in view of His mercy, it overwhelms you. Amen. And as it overwhelms you, what manifests in the overflow is Holy Spirit's anointing. And in his presence, his anointing will start bringing 
to your thoughts things that needs to be submitted unto Christ. And the glory of our Lord is, is that he has crucified every foul thing. Hallelujah. He has crucified it, meaning that this world has no power over you and over me in Jesus' name. Amen. Give God praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This is the ultimate worship in what Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated. Now, we're only in Romans 12, 1. Praise God. But we're going to close in this. Hallelujah. And you know that Lord Jesus Christ, God's love. Amen. Love has a name. Amen. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He demonstrated this worship. So you get to see how in the gospel right here, how God lines it up right behind me and on your screen, you see the praise, hallelujah, of God's mercy for us to save us. Hallelujah. And how do you praise and worship? Oh, hallelujah. How do you praise and how do you worship? Well, I worship you now, Father, because now I have received, I have received Lord Jesus Christ. And now that I have died in Lord Jesus Christ, this is what we call our salvation, amen? Now that I have died in Lord Jesus Christ and resurrected by his power, I now offer to you this body. As I live, hallelujah, as I live on this world, you are my God and I am your temple. I am the body. Say that with me, beloved church family. I am the body of Lord Jesus Christ. And as the body, as the member of Lord Jesus Christ, right? Because we are all members in one body. As the member, now I will not allow, hallelujah, I will not allow sexual perversion, addiction, right? I will, I will not harm you. Amen? I will not harm you. Now the glory of God is, beloved church family, hear my heart. We are all in different seasons in the worship that we're at in Lord Jesus. We're all in different seasons. Can I get an Amen. Hallelujah. So don't allow this, this devil to, to deceive you and make you close yourself off on Holy Spirit. Open yourself up. Because the beauty of our God is that He does not judge you. He loves you. And all He's asking for you to do is to call on the name of Lord Jesus Christ. The name above every name. Hallelujah. And Holy Spirit will do a mighty work through you. Remember, just because a brother or sister has been through something and is no longer, doesn't make them any better than someone that is going through a season. The glory of God is, He died for every soul in this world. Meaning that God loves all of us the same. And it's our obligation through agape to show that same love, prayer, support. Hallelujah. That's why the commandments of Lord Jesus Christ couldn't be more clearer at this time right now. That we love God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And in this worship, hallelujah, in this offering unto God, that I love you, God, with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength, that I'm going to stay focused on you. And not darkness, not sin, not anything else, but you, Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, agape, overflows, and you love and encourage those that are in a difficult season. Amen? And you may be one of those that are in a difficult season. One of those that are right now just in, a, in the middle of a fight. Glory to God, I'm here to tell you, God has you. He is carrying you. Amen. All he wants is for you to just be still and focus on his mercy. Focus that as, as, as hard, as heavy, as bad as you got it right now, I pray in Jesus' name that you look. You see the graphic behind me? That you look at Lord Jesus Christ on that cross. You see him carrying that cross. You see him being beaten. And it's all for you. And it's all for me. And God blessed us with this gift. With the ability to get out of this world. To snap out of it. Say that with me beloved church family. Snap out of it. Snap out of any situation. Any circumstance. Any distraction of this world. And immediately be in the presence of agape. And in view of his mercy. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. We're going to close on this second verse. Hallelujah. That's it. Romans 12, 1, 12, 2. Praise the Lord. Then, praise God. I love it when the word of God says then. So we said all that. Praise and worship. Amen. And God says when you offer, 
You're in view of my mercy. You're in view of how much I love you. You're in view of the love. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. You have received my love. Hallelujah. You have received my love. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And it's through that love there's another gift. And now this gift, hallelujah, is Holy Spirit. Amen. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. His good, pleasing, and perfect will for your life and for my life. Amen. And we're going to move all that, we're going to move all the, all the words down, the scripture down. We're going to move it down. And this is called, say that with me, church, grace. Hallelujah. And we know that grace, he has a name. Amen. His name is, praise God, say it with me, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And you see this anointing of God in how he lays it out. And this is the gospel. This is the gospel of what we know of Lord Jesus Christ. Can again, amen. This is agape as you see it on your screen. Glory to God. And it's in God's glory. Hallelujah. It's in God's glory. When you're in view of his mercy and how much he loves you, how much he loves me. Amen. How much he loved his son. And for his one and only beloved perfect son to leave and come. It's in view of this mercy of forgiveness, of grace, of redemption. It's the view of this mercy that despite our shortcomings, despite how we fall short of the glory, Holy Spirit, it's in view of this mercy that as we offer our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to Father God Almighty, it's in view of this Hallelujah, because there is an expectation from every child of God. Don't let this devil deceive you. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, I rebuke the enemy. Hallelujah. Don't let the enemy deceive you. I don't care how old you are. I don't care what nationality, what race. I don't care. I don't care. God has an anointing on you, and there is an expectation of you. Hallelujah. Because you are his beloved child. Say it with me, I am anointed. Hallelujah, I am anointed. And it's in this anointing that we will then, come on now, praise God, be able to test, say that with me, test, to be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, perfect, hallelujah, God's will for your life and my life. Amen. How many of you want God's will in your life? Glory to God, it all starts with thank you, Father. Can you say that with me? Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Say it like you mean it, beloved church family, because I believe right now, just like you, I believe right now that when we say this, the glory of God, because we're in view of his mercy, we're offering ourselves as a sacrifice. And in his anointing, in his presence, he will bless us with his good, pleasing, perfect will in Jesus' name. Say it with me, beloved church family. I thank you, Abba, God Almighty, I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen? Hallelujah. And this is glory to God. Say this with me. True worshipers. Amen? Hallelujah. True worshipers. Amen? Hallelujah. In John 4, I, I want to say, in, in John 4 verse, I want to say 24, talks about worshipers in the spirit and truth for God is a spirit amen and what God seeks hallelujah is worshipers in spirit and in truth amen true worshipers hallelujah and I know who I'm talking to you praise God I know that you are a true worshiper you are his beloved child through Christ our Lord and maybe there's some of you right now and praise God Holy Spirit said there is that are teetering back and forth you have one foot in the world one foot and maybe I believe maybe I don't in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, God said right now, stop playing games and just receive Lord Jesus Christ. And in a moment, we're going to pray, and I want to pray with you and pray for you in Jesus' name. At this moment, I just want to say thank you so much, beloved church family, for your seeds of offering unto God Almighty, blessing him with his money. Amen. And I just want to say thank you so much. Listen, I know the old is dead and gone, but in this season, I'll tell you right now, the enemy tried to put his hand 
into God's money. And glory to God, I thank God that I'm surrounded by true worshipers. Hallelujah. That no matter what takes place, Father, I'm blessing. I'm blessing you. Amen. I'm giving to you. I'm offering. Amen. And how sweet is it that you know that our Father God is just so happy with well, whatever we should just, right, offer. And I just want to say thank you so much. And, and, and if you want to offer online, please go to oacchurch.com. Once again, that's oacchurch.com. And there, there's a tab, an offering tab, and you can give securely, ele electronically. And I pray that's to, uh, for your convenience. And um, I just want to say thank you once again for your heart of worship, for blessing Lord Jesus Christ. We're in this new season, amen? So remember, let, let's keep in view of the mercy of God. Hallelujah. I know immediately we see Lord Jesus Christ on that cross. Amen. And I pray in Jesus' name that we not only see Lord Jesus Christ on the cross, but we see the perfection, how perfect the Lamb truly is, and the authority that He has. Amen. From the beginning, Alpha to the end, Omega. That's who Lord Jesus Christ is, Alpha and Omega. And you see the mercy of Lord Jesus Christ that He could have said, no. Right? Stop! Can you imagine getting beaten to the point where your flesh is getting ripped off and not say, stop? See, I pray in Jesus' name that Holy Spirit blesses you with that, oh my goodness, right? Even for Father God to say, enough. Even for Holy Spirit. See, when we start worshiping, true worshipers, true worshiping, right? And we just, we, we just break down all the walls of pride, of religion. Break down those walls, Amen. Of, of, of haughty, haughty spirit, conceitedness, snobbish, crunchy. Just break down those walls in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. And for us to just be focused on the anointing that we both share. Amen. Holy Spirit's anointing in us. Amen. We are one in Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's give God praise. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your word. Your living word, Lord Jesus Christ, who you are. You are the word of God. And you became flesh. And you walked, you walked amongst us. You, you taught us. You showed us agape. And thank you so much, Father God, that in the resurrection of my perfect Lord Jesus Christ, your beloved son, your sacrifice, Father, that the same anointing in you, Holy Spirit, has sealed us for all of eternity. That you know us by name, Holy Spirit. That you know Open Arms Community Church is your church body, your body, unified in you, Holy Spirit. And Lord Jesus Christ, we give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, so that, Father God, you are blessed and happy, Father. We thank you, Father God, for all the seeds that you have blessed your beloved church with, Father God, and all the seeds that they have sown into your kingdom. Father God, I speak a hundredfold blessings, Father God, over every seed that is sown, Father God into Open Arms Community Church, Father God, into God's Hand Ministries, Father God, into, into your mighty work, into the I Am Recovered book, Father. I just thank you. It's all for your glory, Father. We want none of it. We don't touch any of it. It's just all for your glory, Lord Jesus Christ. So Holy Spirit, thank you so much for blessing with a hundredfold, and we don't limit you, Father. And thank you, Father, that through your anointing that you have made us your true worshipers, and Father, I just speak a blessing over every ear that has ears to hear. Every soul, Father God, I call them blessed in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. And that your Holy Spirit presence overflows through them, their families, Father God, their, their workplace, their communities, their friends. And Father, we just thank you so much that your presence goes before us. And it's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thank God for y'all every day. Praise God. Trish and I pray for y'all every day. We're just so grateful. Hallelujah. We love you. Thank you so much once again for being a blessing unto Lord Jesus Christ and blessing everyone who is blessed to know you. Hallelujah. You carry, say with me, church, agape. Amen. And love you so much. God is only one good. Amen. God is good all the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Love you guys so much. God bless. Mwah.